point of working hard if you can't enjoy it? This is something I battle with every single day because my life is so busy and I guess I am so young to the point where I think what is all of this for if I actually cannot spend time with my family? Growing up as an older sibling, having the responsibility of looking after the family on my shoulders, I've never been able to switch off because I want to be able to provide for my entire family, look after them for the rest of my life and give ourselves a life that we didn't really have growing up. Sometimes things happen in life where you get forced to actually take some rest and that's exactly what happened. So I had a few days off the shop and normally when I have days off the shop, I'm thinking about what I can do working from home. But instead of that, I took a train straight down to Worthing to meet Alina and I promised myself that I'd not think of work and just switch off for a few days and enjoy some time with my family who I love very much. Myself, Alina, my mum and my younger sister all enjoyed a little trip away in Worthing. And I know we all talk about how much the UK sucks, but listen, there are many things I love about it. One of the things being how easy it is to jump on a train an hour or two away from where you are and you're on a beach and it's sunny and you're having fish and chips. So we spent our day on the beach today and the first call to action was of course to get ourselves a large box of fish and chips. Nothing hits better than some good English fish and chips in the sun, on the beach, and that's exactly what we did. Chilled out for a few hours, and although it wasn't 35 degrees, I'll take 21 degrees because I know we live in the UK and I can't ask for too much, right? After a few hours on the beach, we spotted this ice cream stand, so of course we had to get some. The guy literally drizzled chocolate sauce all over Alina's hands. It was the messiest affair. We were kind of done with the beach at this point. It was starting to get a little bit cooler, but my mom and younger sister wanted to stay. So myself and Alina headed into town, and we went to TK Maxx to do a little bit of shopping because I'm a gold hoop gal but all of my gold hoops have been lost recently so I needed to get a few more. That's when I realized I got badly sunburned and I didn't even think it was that hot. And while Selena was cooking, myself and my mom had a stroll down the town and it was nice to just walk because I haven't walked. So I literally haven't walked for a long period of time in a nice place with fresh air. We headed back to Alina's and got there just in time for dinner and she made what she calls Michael's chicken wings, which are Michael's infamous chicken wings that he never makes anymore. So actually we should really be calling them Alina's chicken wings. We ended off with some M&S vegan cookies that she's obsessed with and then we entered into day two. We had our matching cute little fits on. As I was filming this video and looked back at the footage, I saw how bad my roots were and I was like, I am not doing another day without this. The goal of the day was to go and dye my hair, but before we did that, there's one thing Alina's gonna do is she's gonna find the best coffee spot in town. It doesn't matter where we are, she's gonna find it. So we had some coffee and we shared some like breakfasty bit. I had like a toasty and a brioche bun and some carrot cake and it was delicious and then we headed off to i don't even know where we jumped on the bus and it was about a 15 to 20 minute ride we got to a place called capital which sells everything hair and beauty and my mom is actually a professional hairdresser she has done this since i was about five years old and so i remember growing up going into capital so it was quite nostalgic going into this one i haven't been in there for years interior definitely reminded me of 2005 but we weren't there for that we were there for the products so here i was with my mom choosing exactly what dyes I wanted. Grabbed the goods but before we headed back home took a detour onto another beach nearby. It was a 10 minute walk so we figured why not and my sister really really wanted to play in the sand and in the water and I don't blame her. Listen is it grease? No but we'll take it. We'll take the sand and we'll take the breeze. Once we were done chilling at the beach we headed back to Alina's and before we headed back down to London we had our final dinner and we all got Thai food from a local place and it was pretty decent and then it was time for us to catch the train back home so we could dye my hair and that was it.